Hello! For today's video, I am doing a squishy makeover. My squishy makeover series is obviously inspired by Mariah Elizabeth and her squishy makeover series. It's been a while since I've done a squishy makeover. It's been almost a year actually. My new year's resolution for this year was to only do videos that I felt like doing and for some reason a squishy makeover never really popped into my brain until now. So we are going to do squishy makeover number 17. Let's just bring out the squishies. Up first, I have this squishy kit box of thing that I got on Amazon. I really like these types of kits. You paint on them, you squish them, and there is a collect them all factor. We've already painted on the edgy hedgy, this guy. He's one of my favorite squishies I've ever painted, and in today's video, we're painting on Mr. Slow Nut. Hate that name. There's one blank squishy, five paint pots, and one paintbrush. It's made by Doodle Hog Makers 8 Plus, which is great for me. You go from blank to swank. I guess we'll see how that goes. And there is a choking hazard, duly noted. Super slow rise. We will see about that. Opening the box, and there's a nice donut design on the inside. I took out the squishy, I took out our paintbrush, and wait, where are they? Uh, there they are, the little paint pots that I will not be using. Here's everything that comes in the kit. I really am excited to paint this kit because like I said, I really love this brand's kits. Uh, I don't know why I'm spinning it on my fingers, but it's very cute. The little face is super cute, and the squishy quality, I do really like the squishies in these. This squishy is very soft and it's not the most slow rising squishy I've ever felt, but it's certainly up there and it just has a nice like feel to it, very soft. As I mentioned, I will not be using the paint pots that come with this just because I don't really like the paints that come in these kits. There's not really enough of them and I don't like the colors, but the squishies are very original looking and they have some character to them, which I like. There is a seam on this squishy that I did have to take out my scissors and kind of cut those off. I did also take out my sandpaper and sand it away to try to make it like smooth. We're taking out our colors. I have these markers that someone gave me and never used them. Not using them today, but I just remembered that they were there. I'm using my soft matte paint as well as my slick paint. I like to use my slick paint with a big bottle of soft matte paint. This way I can kind of like mix together different colors. All right, so these are all of the paints that I pulled out of my drawer, and I'm mixing together a donut color, this tan kind of color, and painting that on the, believe it or not, donut part of this sloth donut combo. I like that it's starting blank, and we're gonna go swank with it. It makes things easier that it's blank because there's not really a starting place. I do like painting on squishies that are like colorful because it's kind of like a fun transformation, but right now when I have a newborn, it's way easier to start with a blank squishy. Kind of takes out that beginning chunk where you have to paint everything white. I'm taking out this pink color and painting on the frosting. I decided to go with strawberry frosting. I was just going based off of my my tummy, not my gut, but my, my tummy. I like strawberry frosted donuts the best. I really don't like chocolate frosted donuts. Chocolate frosting is kind of like gross to me for some reason. Vanilla, that's good. Strawberry is the best though. Once I had painted the strawberry frosting, I dipped into a very pale purple color. It actually is a little bit paler than I wanted, so I painted this whole sloth with this color, but you'll see a little later, I actually go back and darken the sloth to be slightly darker just a little darker, but it is basically this color, a pale purple sloth. I went back and forth about the color I was actually going to choose for this sloth because I feel like so many combos can go with pink and tan, you know, like pink and tan and green, pink and tan and blue, pink and tan, it, it could be anything, but at the end of the day, I was looking at this sloth and I was looking at his face and it has like a frame around its face that kind of looks like a heart. So then I was like, okay, let's make it slightly Valentine's-ish, heart-like, has a heart-like face. We have pink frosting, pink and purple remind me of love. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a love-themed sloth because he loves donuts. Yes, he loves donuts. I feel like it's not a boy. Like, this is definitely a girl. I don't know why I just said he. I don't, we gotta come up with a name, a name. <laughs> 
I'll think. After I had finished painting the paws on this sloth, that can't be the right word for it. Is it feet? Hands? It has to be paws. There's no other word. It has claws. They do have like little nails for... Anyway, then I took out my darker purple color and decided to darken up this sloth. It needed a second coat of paint anyway, so I figured, you know what, let me just make it a slightly darker purple color. I feel like it's gonna go better with the shade of pink that I chose. I also used that same purple color on the sprinkles that were already on that donut. They had kind of predefined places where the sprinkles should go. I basically was looking at this and I thought, you know what, this needs a little something extra. It looks like a cute donut, but I think we need Need some drips of chocolate sauce on top. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate frosting, but I do like hot fudge. So maybe this is just hot fudge? I don't know. Do I have to really want to eat my squishy? Mm, probably not. It was time for the details. So I dipped into a white color and put the whites of the sloth's eyes down. I also dipped back into that chocolate brown color and added some chocolate heart sprinkles to the frosting. And then I decided, you know what, this needs a little more chocolate frosting. And I decided, let me add some of the chocolate frosting to the top of the sloth. So it kind of looks like her head is going under the frosting and they're kind of like sharing the frosting coating. I also added some hearts to the bottom of this sloth's body and changed the eye color to purple. I feel like that made it pop more. I added some strawberry frosting color to the inner parts of the hearts on the sloth's body and then I added some more highlights. I think I went a little highlight crazy honestly. After I look at this I'm like man there's a little too many highlights. I always do this. I always overdo it with the highlights and then regret it. I added my signature to the back left booty on the sloth and then I changed the nose and the mouth up a little bit. And here we have the before and the after for our sloth donut. I really like this squishy. I think it's super cute. I love the face. I love the theme of it. My only qualm is that it kind of looks like it's a donut person dressed as a sloth, like in a sloth costume, rather than just a sloth. I realized I did that to myself by outlining the face in pink, but I don't know. It kind of looks like she's in a costume. That's just my only thought, but that's okay. All right, let's move on to this next squishy, which is the unidentified bird. It has a tail like this. It has a big beak and it looks like it has a million toes. This parrot toucan? I think it's a toucan. Is it a... What is? What are those ones that make noise that are... That's not a parrot. A parakeet? Is it a parrot? No. I think it's a toucan. I'm taking out my scissors and I'm cutting off the very thick seam that is on this squishy. This squishy has just like a very like hard line that I had to really cut off and I also tried to sand it away. I did my best. I don't know if it, I think it's okay. And now we're ready for some colors. I'm dipping into this lime green color. I decided that this kind of looked like a parrot and I realize in hindsight that it's definitely a toucan. Like it has to be a toucan. If it's not a toucan, I don't know what this is. Anyway, so I'm painting it a green and yellow kind of theme, a lemon lime, if you will. It's not lemon lime tasting, we're not going to eat the bird, but I just like the yellow and lime kind of color scheme we have going on. After I was done painting the green, I moved on to the yellow. The yellow color was used on the tips of the bird's wings and tail and little head tuft. That's what really, the tuft is really what made me think it might have been a cockatoo, but I feel like a cockatoo has a longer thing on top, so it's definitely not a cockatoo. Once I had finished adding those like tips, I moved on to adding yellow again. I dipped into more yellow and I decided to make the beak for this bird yellow as well as the feet. The yellow color was very transparent. Actually, the green was also very transparent. They both had at least five or six coats of paint to cover everything. But once I had finally finished painting both the beak and the feet, I moved on to the eyes. I painted the whites of the eyes first with a white matte color let that dry. It only took like two coats of that, which was great. After the whites of the eyes had dried, I added a green and yellow color for the iris on the eyes. We kind of went from green to yellow, an ombre kind of thing. And then I added the pupils. This bird has massive eyes. It's like really very big eyes. So I decided to just go for it. You know, we're just gonna fill in the whole thing. He's got huge eyes. He's a huge nose. 
huge eyes. It just makes sense. I outlined the eyes in black. It got messed up, but I just decided, you know what? Let me leave it. I'll let it dry. I filled in the eyebrows and then I went back with some white and fixed it up. It's really very hard to get a thin line with paint like this. So you just kind of have to like paint it and then fix it after you're done. After that was all dry, I dipped into some white and added some glimmers to this toucan's eyes. And here we have the before and the after for Tula. Tula the toucan. It just kind of flows. Tula the toucan. Tula the toucan. It's kind of hard to say actually, but it, it reminds me of a toucan. So that's why her name is Tula. I really like this one. I love the color scheme. I like the eyes. I think she looks super cute. I like her expression. It's a little bit like confusing though. She kind of looks like she's like, hmm, what are you doing? I think it makes her look like she maybe wants to eat the donut. Oh my gosh, Tula, calm down. Are you okay? I really like both of them. They're both very different color schemes and very different personalities. All right, this has been fun. If you want to see me paint on more squishies, I have a playlist linked in one of these two boxes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye. <laughs>